YouTube, it's Kat. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about um, cloth pads because I started talking about it quite early on and I haven't really touched on it. Um, I have to excuse my hair because at the moment it's messing about with my bins outside. Um, you'll have to excuse my hair because I'm trying the no poo or no shampoo method of just using water and nothing else. Um, I'm on day 8. It's not too bad. I mean there's a bit of oily residue on my fingers. But anyway, I'll make a whole other video for that when it's actually either successful or unsuccessful. But the, I, was, I was just, you know, I wanted to explain why my hair looks like this. <laughs> It's horrible, but hopefully it won't be soon. Um, apparently it just needs to adjust, and I've just got to keep on like getting the build up out basically. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about cloth pads because I've been using cloth pads for. Um, I think it's. I think it's seven months. Sorry, I got an eyelash. I think it's seven months. Um. And what I did to start off with was I just bought some um, cheap cotton ones off eBay. Um, uh, I got three to start off with, just to try them, like, see how it was. Um, and at that point, my, my periods were actually... Um, like decent periods like I'd come off the injection in December and then the first couple of months they weren't um, they weren't like proper periods they were like sort of one day and um, every two two weeks and then they went fine and I was having one period every 28 days on the dot and it was fully trackable, it was identical every month um, I was having the exact same symptoms every month so I knew exactly when it was coming and then I think it was two or three months ago I started like feeling a bit differently and my periods aren't as heavy and because of that, because when I was pregnant with my daughter, um, I spotted a lot and I thought, well, what if this is spotting and it's just a bit, a little bit heavier than when I, when I had Heather, um, what if it's just a bit, like, stronger in plantation boots or whatever. Um, so I took several tests, they've all come back as negative, but, um, but yeah, that's why I've needed the cloth pads. So anyway, this is, I have two, two designs. These are the first ones that I got them. Um, three of these pattern, um, patterns. Um, I won't show the inside because they're, it's a bit stained. Um, I, I don't really soak them. You're supposed to soak them in cold water and then put them in the wash. I've just been putting them like rinsing them out with cold water as much as possible and then putting them in my normal wash but um, um, I haven't thought about putting them in with the nappies I will be putting them in with the nappies next time I think because um, obviously most of the time um, because of poos the nappies have to go on at 60 degrees um, and that gets a lot more stains out. Um, so I think I'll be putting it on a 60 wash with her nappies um, at some point. Well, whenever my next period is. Um, this one, I mean, they're not totally predictable now. Like, I've got an app on my iPad. Sorry. Like, I think these are like three pounds something each. I'll put a link below. They were like three pounds something each. Um, I bought three of them at first. Um, 
and just tried them out. Um, obviously, I had to wash them more frequently um, because I didn't have that many. Um, so I, I was still using a few disposables a day in that first month. And then I got this pack, so now I have six. They are sold singularly, but you get a discount after three or more. Um, there's some on the eBay. Um, sorry, I'll put them on eBay. <laughs> but these are both sold by the same seller. And they're just cotton. I didn't want um, charcoal or bamboo. I wanted one that was... Um, oh, same with the front bits on this one that's stained. It's white on the inside. Um, I wanted one that's white on the inside because I can tell by the colour and consistency of my period blood um, like how long, how much longer it's going to last um, like whether it, you know, if it starts to go a bit darker and um, you know, become a smaller amount then I know it's only going to be like a day or two more if that um, if it's like, you know, bright red, sticky, stringy, then it's going to be a while. This is really too much information, um, but anyway, on the app, um, uh, I have regular as clockwork periods up until, okay, so in July, the second to the fifth, that was my last um, decent clockwork period. And then I had one on the 29th to the 23rd, and that was just spotting. Um, so I'm supposedly due on in five days, um, apparently. But we shall see. Is that spotting because of it? Like, I don't know if it was period. But I've done tests and they've come back as negative, so I don't know. But anyway, these are great. I got the heavy... Like, they had different sizes on that seller's um, store. Um, and I got the heavy one because I have been heavy in the past but the thing is I've been told that there's chemicals in tampons and disposable pads that um, are made to draw out your period um, they can also make your period longer um, and more painful so you're not likely to be as heavy with cloth pads as you are with disposables apparently um i don't know if i've noticed that much of a difference um but obviously my periods have basically stopped um in september the september um 2018 um because of the injection i've been having the injection for like a year by then and it basically stopped my periods and then when I came off it in December it was, I had to I, I, I think I'm still like getting back to normal um, so I think yeah cloth pads work um, I think I might get four more um, I think that's a good a good number for me um, like a minimum because I still have to wash these very regularly, like, if I don't want to use disposables at all, I have to wash them, like, nightly, um, and I only wash at the snappies, um, like, every two or three days, um, so, okay, my computer just cut me off for some reason, um, so, I could do a, a few more of those just to tie me in with my daughter's nappy washing routine so that I can get them on the 60 wash, get the stains out and 
Um, well, obviously, I've got to rinse, rinse my cold water first, but the nappies go through a cold rinse as well. So, it, you know, if you're doing cloth nappies, you might as well do cloth pads. If you're doing cloth pads, you might as well do cloth nappies, if you have a kid, obviously. Um, I mean, that's why we started cloth nappy and our daughter, because I said, I said to my partner, if I'm using cloth, it, it, we might as well do it with Heather. I mean, if it's the chemicals that's making me choose to use cloth pads, then the chemicals and disposables, to be honest, are even worse. So, yeah, that's why me and my daughter have both gone cloth. Um, obviously, my my fiance hasn't really got anything to go cloth with. <laughs> I mean, he could have cloth toilet wipes, um, but I mean, we do use cloth wipes with our daughter, but not for poo because she doesn't have nice poo it's bad enough rinse not often happens when it escapes so yeah um they i think they are 28 centimeters long i think um Oh, they're 24. 24 centimetres long, um, and they're like nine and a half centimetres wide, and then they've got these wings, which um, you put like around your knickers, and you can either put them on, put them on either of those snaps. So I think I usually put mine on that because if you have a fair few number of my um, period pants, <laughs> they're not period pants, they're just horrible and nasty ones from Primark that I've had for a fair few years, but they're what I wear on my period. I'm sure a lot of girls out there have the same sort of pants. <laughs> anyway, most of them have quite thin crotches and obviously you don't want this to move about a lot. It doesn't have any stickiness to hold it on. So um, yeah, you want to... Um, fairly as tight as possible really but not so tight that it's all going to bundle up and everything um but these are great um you know they're not the most extravagant ones that are out there but i haven't found any of the you know um cotton fully cotton ones that cheap um i didn't want any microfiber because i haven't got a microfiber with our daughter I don't want to get microfiber because when you wash things that contain microfiber, those particles get into um, everything. They get into the water, they get into the environment and it's not good for it. So um, I didn't want anything with microfiber because obviously things like nappies and cloth pads, they're going to get washed a lot. Um, you know, they need to be able to take a lot of abuse and cotton's quite sturdy, so there we have it. Um, I'll leave the link below and the price and everything. Um, if you want me to do any other videos, let me know. Um, I will do the no poo, no shampoo um, video when I know how successful it's been. Or or if I decide to quit, I'll do a video then. <laughs> I'm not planning on quitting, but oh my god, it's it's so shiny. But um, yeah, I'll do a whole video on it. Um, you can YouTube it yourself as well, like the reasons why people do it. Um, but this is primarily about cloth pads. Do it, people. Like I said, I have six. I will be getting a few more as and when. Um, yeah, go and get them. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Bye. Um, just interjecting into my own video as I'm editing it. Um, I forgot to mention that um, with disposables. Um, Towards the end of my period, I would always get a bit of um, like, sort of like a, 
almost a mild friction burn, like an irritated flesh area around, you know, there. Um, I'm guessing it's just the chemicals, but I've heard a lot of other people say this too. And you don't get that with cloth bags because there's no chemicals and they are really comfy and soft and like they're quite you can see like they're kind of pillowy and yeah it's just it's something nice to have against you rather than like something with weird meshy bits in it anyway I was just editing and thought I needed to add that in, so, alright, try. Oh, and I'm sorry about the super uber too much information.